Hey everybody, Michael McGregor with Wyco Resiliency. Little video tonight, I uh, want to talk about panic prepping. Um, this seems to be a theme with a lot of people and it's, I like to, you know, focus on the pri to, um, prioritizing your preps. So I get it. We have the Ukraine going on. We have Russia. We have the constant uh, bombardment of at any moment the nuclear weapons are going to drop. Um, and it's got a lot of people thinking, oh, my God, we're going to be nuked. We're going to be nuked. Really? Are we really? I mean, really? Um, yeah, I'm not worried about it. And I'm seeing people, you know, I mean, great, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, if you live in a high urban area where you run a risk of potential riots, people throwing CS gas, you might need a gas mask. If you're in rural America, you probably don't need one. And if you think you're buying a gas mask to fend off the nuclear Armageddon, um, <laughs> well, um, Let's say if America launches all their nukes, Russia launches all their nukes, your gas mask ain't going to help you. I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, even if you do survive that initial attack um, and you crawl out of your bomb shelter and you got your little gas mask, great. Your skin's exposed. You don't have an actual mop. You don't have mop gear. Cool. Cool. You got yourself a gas mask, you got your kids a gas mask, you got your wife a gas mask, no mop gear. Think about that. Okay, great. Um, it's like potassium iodine. Great, your thyroid's protected, but your skin's melting off. Okay, you're falling into the preparedness trap. And don't get me wrong, I mean, it's a wonderful market. I mean, there's a lot, I mean, people make a lot of money off of paranoia. Um, and that's the one thing, I mean, slow down, stop and think about this. If there is a nuclear holocaust and you do survive and you crawl out of your bunker, you're gonna grow your corn? Where? Ground's radiated. You got nuclear winter. Think this out. But you just drop three hundred to six hundred dollars on gas masks. Meanwhile, you don't even have five gallons of water stored. What's gonna drink? The water's irradiated. Um, so th think about these things. Don't get caught up in the hype. I, I realize that you go on YouTube and. You get 13 things to do before your dog's eaten by zombies. And, you know, the 15 most important handguns you need to have. You need one. You need one handgun. You need one handgun that will get you to your one rifle. Oh, my God. How could you be saying I only need one rifle and one handgun? Oh, my God. Technically, that's all you need. I get it. You know, we could, you know, I have more than one. But you don't. You need one handgun, one rifle. If you live in an urban area where the risk of people doing bad things is like um, Pastor Joe Fox, as he brings up, there are two things that will kill you mostly in a shit hits the fan scenario. Starvation and people eating badly or people people eating badly. Stay away from cannibals. Um, I think there's a proverb about that. Don't eat the flesh of others. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, but no, people behaving bad, badly and starvation. That's your biggest risks. So if you live in an urban area, and I, I, I'll say it all the time and I keep saying it, you know, come out of her, my people. Get out of the urban areas. You, you really do. Um, your survival on that timeline is not going to be very long. It, 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 it's, it's not. Um... But if you do live in that area, probably a plate carrier, probably more than a thousand rounds. But if your plan is to be getting into gunfights, your plan sucks. Just saying, it, it really does. Um, avoid gunfights at all. You know, they're hazardous to your health. Just saying, stay out of the gunfights. Seriously, okay? I know you wanna play Call of Duty. 
Um, but Call of Duty in real, life, in real life, you don't get to hit the reset button. You got one life. Don't be stupid with it. Also, don't be stupid with your preps. We've talked about food on this channel numerous times. You want to have your food stores. You want to have your water stores. And it's five gallons per person per day, not a gallon, unless you want to be the smelly asshole guy. Okay? You, want to ha you, you want to clean yourself. Hygiene's important in a shit hits the fan scenario. It really is. You want to be able to cook with water. You want to be able to drink water. You want to be able to sanitize. You want to be able to wash. That's more than a gallon of water a day. Think about it. You need more than a gallon. That old prepper um, thing about, oh, you just need a gallon of water a day. No, that's to drink. And if you're in a hot climate, you're going to be drinking a lot more than a gallon, especially if you're working in the fields. And you're going to be working. You're going to be doing a lot more gardening. You know, you're going to be the militant farmer. Plain and simple. You really are. You're going to be gardening. That's your food. You're going to do animal husbandry. It's not what you think. Um, these are the things that you're going to be doing. Going on to YouTube and seeing, you know, these are the 18 guns that are most needed, you know, for, you know, your survival. No, one pistol, one rifle. The pistol is to get you to your rifle. That's only if people behaving badly show up. Other than that, stay out of the gunfights. Just saying, stay out of them. So, food, water, medical. And when you think you have enough medical, you don't have enough medical. Once again, I'm going to throw it out there. For medical equipment, you want North American Rescue. Refuge, medical, fantastic company to deal with. And here's the thing, many of you may not know this. If you have a refuge medical kit and you use it to save a life, they will 100% replace everything that you used to save that life. Very few companies do that. I can guarantee you that Chinese mimetic crap won't. They won't do it. They'll be like, cool, thank you. Um, Dark Angel Medical is another quality company. So there's three. Stay away from that Chinese shit. I mean, seriously, it, it's not... It's a great boo-boo kit. I mean, if you want to buy some Band-Aids and, you know, rape whistles and some uh, rape sticks, you know, chem sticks, go with my medical. Other than that, um, don't be buying. I mean, seriously, don't. Don't be buying it. Um, a fool and his money. So, Refuge Medical. And, no, and here's the thing. I don't get any kickbacks from any of these companies. These are just companies that I truly believe in. And if I believe in a company, I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to share that information because it's something I believe in, especially if it's an American company using American products, okay? You want to fund the Chinese, you want to help fund their war machine, you go right ahead. But, um, you know, here's the thing. You're going to pay a little extra for American made. A lot of you start waving that American flag and then you see that dollar sign, you're like, oh, well, oh, oh, I can support China a little bit more good spend a little extra money support your american worker plain and simple okay um other than that that's all i really wanted to cover on this is prioritize your preps if you're on your 15th gun and you don't have a medical kit that will help last a week a month if you don't have over-the-counter medicine stocked up maybe you should start thinking about that you know, get a bad flu, get a bad cough. You know, you need some expectorant. I'm not saying go out there and start stocking up on antibiotics. And I am going to have an episode talking about antibiotics because there are, I believe, three companies out that you can actually get actual medical grade antibiotics. Um, but I want to do a little bit more research before I sh uh, share that information with you because that is an important prep. Your gas mask could be down at the bottom near your nods. And I know some people are like, no, you've got to have night vision. Maybe. It's on the bottom of the list of mine. I'm not gonna, it, it is. It's not a priority for me. Food, water, medical. Way to protect myself. Comms. 
See, comms. Um, actually, with comms, this is a U Yesu. It's a Yesu. It's a Yesu FT65. This is like the upgraded, um, rugged version of the. Um, I have it somewhere. Of the Baofeng. He has two radios. Yes, two is one, one is none. Um, actually, this antenna right here, I would highly recommend um, upgrading the Yesu to a better antenna, which um, this is, I don't know, this is a uh, Nagoya. Um, now, I've been told they're interchangeable. It's the same, and the person that told me this, um, I trust, because he knows more than I do. Oh, look at that. I just upgraded the antenna to my Yesu. Um, so. Look at that. It's not programmed yet. I'll be working on that soon. I'm going to get this programmed up. Um, so, but there. My Yesu is now upgraded. Um, I do have a little bit better of an antenna for my... Baofeng, and I don't know where it is right now. I'll have to, I have the retractable, but even the Yesu antenna will fit on here. Frequency mode. So, getting signal in. Someone's trying to talk. So, yes, um, these are my handhelds that I keep with me. Depending on where I'm going, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I have the repeaters set in. And it looks like a lot of you really liked the communications and the comms video I did on programming the Baofeng. So I'm probably going to do another one of those on setting up and adding some more frequencies and how to go through and find some stuff. I'm going to put that together. Um, other than that, um, com you know, food, water, medical, comms, prote you know, uh, personal protection, ammo. You know, if, you, if you're squared away on all of that and you're really, really squared away, maybe start looking into nods. I would say even before nods, a bump helmet. And you, oh my God, a bump helmet. My wife's probably going, you don't need one of those. Um, think about a disaster site. Um, it's going to protect your noggin. If things are falling down, rocks, trees, stuff like that. Um, because one thing is, Wyco Resiliency is going to be expanding um, into disaster recovery. And also, we're going to start um, looking into things, um, working on and setting up things for um, search and rescue and stuff like that. So, I will be sharing that little journey that we're going to do with that. And... You're going to need a bump helmet. you got a way to protect yourself. Um, something like that with a bump helmet. Um, you don't necessarily need nods. Um, I think enough guys in our group do have nods that if we had to do a search and rescue at night, whoop, they could drop one down and, hey, we got movement over there. It's helpful. Um, for me, it's not a priority. It's just not. Um, antibiotics are more of a priority for me. But I'm more rural than a lot of people. I don't have to worry about that nighttime stuff. I don't have to worry about people behaving badly as much in my area now. So keep that in mind. But really avoid getting overly paranoid when you see something on YouTube or on the news. Um, think back to COVID. Think, oh, sorry. Think back to the Cerveza flu. This may end up getting blocked or banned because I said the no-no word in YouTube algorithms. So I don't think I'm that big yet, but the Cerveza flu. Remember that first 30 to 45 days where we actually thought this might be the end? But it wasn't. Think of all the panicking. No more toilet paper. No more cleaning accessories. And that's something to think about. You know, Instead of buying um, a bunch of gas masks... How much toilet paper are you stocked up on? You got enough ways to wipe your butt? Um, do you have a bidet is installed? I mean, personally, I think wiping my butt's a little bit more important than having a gas mask for a nuclear event that is going to essentially be worthless. Um, but hey, a fool and his money. 
Um, and I know there's people that sit there and go, no, no, you have to have a gas mask. Mm, no, if there's gonna be a nuclear war, if you don't have a full mops gear, sorry, you're gonna end up dying anyways because that radiation is gonna hit the skin that's exposed and you're just gonna wither away. But that's kind of a morbid way to end things. So I'm gonna try to always stay positive with this. Um, but like I'm saying, bump helmet, probably a little bit more important than a gas mask. And honestly, you can always justify things. But if you're buying it because you're afraid of, you know, warheads drop, being dropped on foreheads, um, you're afraid of the Russian military coming after us. Really? Really? Um, I'd be more concerned about continuing to send money over to China for Chinese crap to help them fund their military. If you're really concerned, stop buying foreign shit. Start buying American. Support American companies. Yeah, I know it's a little bit more expensive, but most of you that are loudest are the loudest about bitching about Chinese stuff. And then when it comes to actually paying American prices, you're like, oh, well, I'm not going to pay this much. Well, what do you want? You want to support China? You want to support the country? Well, guess what? It costs some money. Okay. American workers don't work cheap because I know some of you bitching about your paychecks all the time. Okay. Think about that. Think. Okay. With that, I'm Michael McGregor. You have a wonderful week. As always, watch your six. And until next time, peace.